Hello guys, today we continue browsing Eddy server management open source code and topic of today is controllers. An interesting part with global controller in Laravel which you can fill with your own logic. So let's take a look at an example. We have server controller to manage the servers and in the index model we have this team for example. Where does it come from? Or later we can find something like this user. What is this user? This is a controller. Finally, there's this log activity on some action. And there's no log activity function in this controller. So where does it come from? So this controller, server controller, as most of the controllers in Laravel, extends global controller. But that global controller is public. It's not in vendor. It's in the same namespace of app HTTP controllers, which is this app HTTP controllers controller and here you can add some global logic if you want to. Controllers controller extends base controller which is actually in illuminate routing which is in vendor so you cannot touch that one but in here by default it is empty just using some traits and you can add more functions more features like shortcut to auth user which becomes this user in any controller. In this case, I don't see much benefit to be honest, but in the case of the other method, it is shorter. So instead of calling this user current team every time, we shortcut that to the team and then in every controller we have this team. And then the third method, log activity, using the same this team and this user to log that something happened somewhere and you can call that in any of your controllers. Of course, all of those functions could be placed elsewhere. They could be global helpers. They could be related to the models. You can place them in user model technically. Log activity could be observer somewhere or event. But this is one way to place the repeating parts of your controllers in base controller. And finally, in this video, on top of the topic of controller, I want to give you some kind of a gift, you can call that. So we've been talking about Eddy server management, which is powered by Splayed. And for example, to view the table of SPA with dynamic stuff, you don't need to write any JavaScript or Livewire or Inertia or anything. There's a Splayed table component. So today I want to show you one video from my course. On Laravel Daily Com courses, I have a full course about Splayed. And now I will show you one video from that specifically about splayed table. There's splayed table components, six minute video, so I will just paste it at the end so you could have an understanding how splayed may help you for SPA projects. So watch that one or the full course. I will link that in the description below and see you guys in other videos. Splayed, in addition to being SPA powerful architecture, it also has a lot of components inside of it, helpful components to achieve dynamic behavior, again, without writing JavaScript, powered by Laravel Blade components. One of the most powerful ones is Splayed table. So we continue creating our users table, and this is how you would typically do that table for each of the users with some tailwind or whatever styling. And it would look something like this. So all users, name and email, you can style it some more. But instead of regular table, you could use splayed table, which will add a lot of powerful filtering, search, sort, and stuff like that. If we open the documentation of splayed, the current documentation, by the way, it's subject to change because it's still early days version one of splayed. So maybe by the time you are viewing this video, something may have changed in the syntax but this is at the moment. You're passing users not as data from the controller, but as splayed table. So let's actually copy exactly that example. And in the controller, instead of users, instead of just compact users, we'll have users and then do splayed table. Let's autocomplete that with my PHP storm. And then we don't need to do user all. We just provide the class, the eloquent model, and then what we show, name and email. Paginate by 15. In our case, we don't have 15 users at the moment, but I will seed it a bit later. We don't need the request here. And then in the actual blade file, instead of building the table, we just do, again, we open the documentation, x splayed table. This is a good example of the fact that splayed is powered by blade components. And we do it just like this, exploit table for users. And that users is this variable. Then we comment out that table and refresh the page. 
and this is our new table. It's not in full page width, it has styles by splayed itself. Let's make it full page by adding just class as any Tailwind class, minimum width full for example. We have npm run dev running in the background, so it auto refreshes the page with Vite server, and this is our table. Here we have 15 per page which we can change, here we have name and email that could be hidden or shown, and it's all powered by Splate. I didn't write any manual code for this, as you have seen. Behind the scenes, I've seeded 20 more users, and we have pagination then, so 22 results. We can click here, click back, change the pagination to 30 per page. That all works out of the box by Splate. Now let's take a look at other features of that table component. Majority of those features come down to just adding more method to display table. For example, you've seen already column, so you can add another column by doing column ID, for example, for the user, and it would show the third column ID. So let's just quickly run through the documentation. At this point, again, the documentation, maybe there will be something more in the future. So what do we have here? Per page options, we can add, for example, per page options could be 15 and then 50, 120. If we refresh again, what do we have here? Those options activated. Then also you can hide pagination in case of just one page. Then also you can customize the display table inner things themselves. So instead of just explay table with this closing tag, you can have something like this. So head and body with different styling or different behavior. Now, if we go back to the columns, the name, the key is not the only thing that you can pass here. You can provide column as having some more functionality, like for example, sortable, true or not. If we pass true, we save and refresh. On top, we have this. Now we can sort by name, ascending or descending. It kind of reminds me of filament admin panel, which has table builder in itself and have a separate course on filament if you want. So there, the logic is pretty similar. You build the table with features just one by one, activating columns, activating more methods. So for example, sortable is as easy as parameter. If you want the default sort, for example, you can add, for example, here default sort name like this. And then if we refresh the page, this is the default sort logic. Really similar thing is related to search. So sortable true, guess what? Searchable true. What would that bring visually? We refresh our page and now we see this. Search by name, Alec for example, or Ale, and it brings the results. So if you want to search by columns, we have this appearing, which will search by the columns that you provide for example, in searchable parameters. There are more features around search and you can read the documentation about that. For now, I want to give the overview of the table features. So sortable and searchable is as easy as adding the parameter to the column method, but also you may add a global search. So one input to search in a few fields. To do that, you do with global search on the table, columns, and then array of the columns. For example, name and email like this. Now, if we refresh the page, we have this, which would search by name or email in this case. There are many more features in the table component of Splayed, but I don't want to spend the full course just on that one component. There's much more to show to you in other Splayed features. So I advise you to read all the documentation, including the bulk actions, exports, and how to use, for example, Spidey Query Builder instead of the default built-in one. In general, my opinion is that Splay Table is a great tool to power the data table's behavior. Again, without JavaScript and again powered by Blade component, which is the architecture of Splade.